Hey, this is JC and welcome to Small Brick City where we want to help you build a Lego city regardless of the space you have. In this video, we are going to discuss a preview of the 2020 Lego Expert Modeler Building Set 10270 Bookshop. It contains 2,504 pieces and will retail for US $179.99. This is $20 less than last year's Corner Garage. At first glance, this set is reminiscent of the pet shop in terms of the look, the fact that there are two distinct townhouses and they are built on separate 16 by 32 stud base plates. And for those who missed getting the pet shop in 2011, I'm sure you'll be excited for this. From the point of view of a Lego city, which is what we're interested in at Small Brick City, I believe this is a welcomed addition to any Lego city. I can see many people liking this set especially people who are looking for regular buildings. Personally, I'm more into regular looking buildings that can fit into a LEGO city and I prefer the closed up expert modeler style buildings as opposed to the dollhouse style or open back 3-in-1 creator sets. In fact, if you go through my videos, you'll see lots of mocks and modified sets where complete open back buildings such as the recent townhouse cafe and pet store. You can find a link to my remock of that set in the description of this video. Back to the new modeler bookshop. Because of the nature of the build and the fact that it is an inset modeler building, which means that it can be placed in between buildings, there's lots of flexibility in where this set can go into Lego City. The fact that you can split them up also makes it easier to integrate into a Lego City. Personally, I find the build attractive but I'm not blown away by it. I don't find it particularly groundbreaking in exterior design or even in the functional design. In a sense, it is good that it can physically match other modular buildings as that makes it easier to fit into a LEGO city. But I don't find it unique enough. Maybe I'm spoilt because I see lots of great mocks on excellent modular buildings for a LEGO city. But I understand there is a part and piece count limitation that LEGO designers have to work within. But that's just really me being a bit nitpicky. As mentioned, the set is really two separate buildings on separate base plates. The buildings are set in seven studs from the front which will more or less line them up with other modular buildings. I suspect a lot of people like me will lament the fact that the interior floor and back garden are not detailed or tiled. The furniture in general is also a bit sparse. The tree on the outside of the bookshop has nice autumn leaves but I don't understand why the tree trunk is grey. The colour schemes for the buildings work and the teal is quite nice for the apartment building. They probably wanted a building to match their new brick separator colour. Obviously LEGO must have bought too much teal colour dye. I do appreciate the fact that the colours and design all around the buildings are consistent. The overall proportion of the buildings is fine and the use of space looks alright but it does not seem like there's a toilet in this build which means it is actually a complete failure as a realistic modular building. Even the pet shop from 2011 had a toilet. I do like the roof design of both builds, they are very well thought out and they flow very well in terms of a design. The design is also quite intricate and sophisticated. As a mock builder, I appreciate good roof designs as they can be really hard to design and build. For the furniture inside the building, at first glance there does not seem to be much innovation in the designs but to be fair, I have to actually get the set and build it in order to know. The use of the ingot piece in brown does work well for a design element for the counter though but it looks like a chocolate bar to me. The apartment comes with a chameleon that matches the blanket and from this photo, it looks like you get a glass case to hold a decapitated head. So I have to assume this apartment belongs to a serial killer. Overall, the design is fine for what it is but as I said before, just not groundbreaking in my opinion. It does come with a bunch of minifigures and there are some elements in new colours such as the black hair for the decapitated head, the scarf and the beanie. So let me know what you think of this set. Do you like it? Will you get it? Do you think it will fit well in a LEGO city? Personally, I'll be getting it because there's a universal rule that you cannot have too many modular buildings in a LEGO city unless you have no space. But that's what Small Brick City is all about, always finding space in a LEGO city. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below before comments for this channel gets disabled due to copper. 
I hope you enjoyed this video. I will be doing the draw for the 9,000 subscriber contest which I posted about a month ago. Apologies for the delay, my schedule has been hectic and it will not let up until early next year, if I'm lucky. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up and if you haven't, please subscribe to the channel as well as to smallbrickcity.com. Talk to you soon.